Hey everybody, I'm just wrapping up a great week with the kids. It was especially good because I didn't have the kids for three weeks, so I missed them like crazy. My co-parent and I, we rotate every other week. So my house is really, really loud, pretty messy for a week, and then it gets really, really quiet and is much cleaner, unless I leave like a dish out on my own, which you know I would never do. Um, on this occasion, it was Jamie's week, and then it would have been my week, but it was spring break, and it was her holiday. So she had to run the gauntlet for three weeks straight with the littles. It was actually that way for me last March. So anyway, I missed him like crazy. We got him back, and it was especially cool because Shaden was here. It was his spring break, so he was down from college. So usually when the Quints went to sleep, Shane and Landon and I would play some video games. Um, most of the time I just watched, they're trying to teach me, but when I learned to play video games, it was on the original Nintendo, the original NES, and it had A and B. It had two buttons and then just kind of your joystick. The controllers nowadays have two joysticks on them and about 10 buttons. And so there's games where you're moving around and you not only move your body, you have to control which way your head's going and it is too much for my brain. I do want to note though that we rotate between the Xbox and PlayStation that they have to the original Nintendo. I make them play that with me so that they can see that I still can dominate with the original NES. So anyway, that's been a ton of fun. It's been Easter week with the Quints. So they've had in-school parties and they've had um, other family members spoil them with treats during the week. So I'm glad that we survived it. It was hard to get them to bed at night many times because they were so, so wired on sugar, but we got through that. So that's cool. Uh, new content, new content's coming up. I am going to go back to vlog form. Uh, I talked about it in my last uh, podcast episode. Podcasting has been cool, and I'm really glad I did it because there was things that I just wanted to express and kind of get out that was part of my journey. And at this point, I am ready to laugh. Um, I'm ready to, to have some fun here with this channel, and vlogging is definitely more fun than sitting still. So get ready for some fun content. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of comedy, and I know what you're thinking. Don't you have to be funny to do comedy? Yes. Yes, it actually helps a lot, but I'll, I'll figure that out. So I hope you enjoyed the content that's coming up. A lot of content's coming like your way in April. Uh, count on a couple, couple vlogs per week at least and some little short things. Anyway, I've got the whole month planned out and I'm, I'm really, really excited about it. As far as the podcast goes, the podcast episodes between Facebook and YouTube were usually getting about 30,000 views. So I know that there's an audience for some of the stuff that I shared there. Um, I am going to put that on the side and then likely get the podcast going, but it won't be on this platform. It'll be a separate platform. And then the, those that are in that type of content that, that like um, the, the things that I'm talking about there as far as uh, faith journey, things like that. There's just so many things as a person that have shifted in my life for the better and it hasn't always been easy, but sharing some of those things has been really therapeutic and, and cathartic for me. So I've, I've enjoyed doing that and I appreciate you know those that, that have enjoyed that and, and want more of that content. Um, it'll come and I'll let you know where to find it. But for now, um, this is this is Skylar Scott channel. <laughs> this is my channel. I'm just gonna call it my name so I can keep it open and uh, that I can play around a bit and, and have some fun. Hello, by popular demand, I'm gonna give you a more proper tour of our garden. This is a shrubbery. This is a fruit tree. This tree's ugly. Flowers. Sweetheart, I found another. This here is Bark. This is Landon. He's holding a stick. Hello, father. So that's coming your way. Um, and again, to wrap up some of the things that I shared in the last video I mentioned, I have shared part of of my faith journey um, and even being a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints for 40 years and finding myself in, in a different space as far as my faith goes. Um, but I do wanna point out that I have so much love for first the, the, the community that I grew up in. Uh, when Jamie and I went to, uh, to Phoenix, we had to relocate when we were expecting quintuplets because the best paleontologist in the world was in Phoenix. So it's about nine hours from our hometown, but we, we moved there and we were there for about six months. And during that time, they sat us down and said, look, quintuplets is a big deal. And we had prepared ourselves to know what it would be like to have quints, especially because they were coming our way. 
no amount of preparation could ever actually let us understand what it would be like until we actually had those quintuplets. So our doctor had worked with several couples um, as rare as quintuplets are, we were his 24th set of healthy quintuplets, which is amazing. But I remember he sat us down and said, do you have support? He said, you are a family that's in need in every way more than you even imagine. Accept that support. And if you have family support or if you have community support, accept all of that help. And I remember Jamie and I just looked at each other knowing that we had all the help we could ever want because the community that we lived in and, and our, our circle of, of people there right in our church group were among the most loving people you will ever meet in your life. And we had people in there at midnight, people in there at two in the morning, people in there at four in the morning, around the clock to help us care for these kids, especially when they were little newborns. So I wanna express my, my deep love to them. But what I take from that journey more than anything is the love and the example of the loving people. And if, if you if you know Latter-day Saints, if, if you have you know any any that you're close to you, you know what amazing um, loving people they are. So yeah, I, I'm pretty excited. Um, get ready for a video coming up in a few days. I've got some plans, I've got some some tricks up my sleeve. And like I said, I'm I'm ready to laugh and I'm ready to to have fun with this again. Uh, when we first started the quints were just like these little three pound, just little bricks, if you will. They didn't really move, they cried a lot, but there wasn't much with content with the littles. And so in the videos, we would generally show a little bit with the kids, but in a lot of them, it, we were just having fun. A lot of you have been asking us how we tell our kids apart. So I've swaddled a couple of the kids just to give you an example. Um, right here, as you can see, it's, it's pretty tough, but this is exactly why we have shade and wear glasses. See, I mean, now it's way easier. So as far as the, the dorkiness and um, the, the fun that, that I had vlogging, uh, I'm excited to dive back into that. So we just talked to a lady about Tim Tams and she's checking the back. We're hoping, yeah. hoping, hoping they've got Tim Tams in stock. If not, we're gonna have to go somewhere else. So yeah. we pulled in the best, we pulled the whole staff. There was a staff meeting, we had to find Tim Tams. Tim Tam. Couldn't find it in the back, and you've never Tim tried, Tam. you've no. never tried Tim Tams. Never tried Tim Tams, I, I have no. I love the chocolate. Tam. It'll change your life, it's a cookie, it's a yeah. cookie. But fortunately, what's your name? Tim Tam, Lindsay. Lindsay, Lindsay took us to a special aisle and what are these called? End caps? End caps, yes. yeah. We, an end cap. Tim Tams for life. Tim Tams, they're all, and they have all these different flavors. But I've, I've heard you've got to start with like the original and then work your way into all the other flavors. We've had the original, we're gonna get a lot of those. Oh so, gosh, gosh. Thanks guys, I just, I never gave Tim them a yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. This is huge. Thank Target you. Target for life. You're welcome. Target. 1357, you gotta shop at this store, man. 1357. How many? Uh, a lot. Ooga, 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 ooga. It's one happy wombat. Tim Tam. Thank you for all of you for, for following us, especially, especially those that have been with us from the beginning. Um, having a family vlog for six years has been a huge blessing. Moving forward, I still do plan to respect the privacy of my kids as much as possible. And so in some ways, if they participate, it'll be very, very minimal. Um, like Landon's old enough that, that he, you know, can decide whether he wants to be, be in it or not. And um, as far as the quince, we'll, we'll see how things go. But again, thanks for following. Get ready for some fun videos. Give me feedback on these videos. If you like them, let me know. If you don't, people let me know that too, which is always awesome. So. All right, love you guys. I'll see you on a video very, very soon. Tim Tam.